Hi and welcome to my SimCity gameplay videos. Um, this is the third video and this is the area of play. Um, as you can see here and here and so is areas that I don't have any, I don't own the land and it's very difficult to get those lands and I'll show you later on exactly how to do that. But um, for now let's just cash in. What we want to do is we want to build our population up. Our target is 250 and we're almost there. And um, temporarily if I want to get up, uh, get my uh, population up, I need to just build some decorations. And the cheap decorations here, uh, cobblestone patch, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a big boatload of increase of um, population. Once again, um, if you go over your decoration, you'll see there's a big square. You want to build your houses to go into that space there and outside uh, you want to split your houses between the end here, you'll see here is a line if I go there, you want to build your house outside and inside of that line, which means you get uh, the most exposure for your houses. Um, you can build it inside the, inside the line there and you'll see just now exactly what I mean. Um, but for now, we've got some energy, we've got some civilians and some whatever, so let's build. What we need is we need to build um, build this and build the civilians. Okay, civilians help you build more and this help more as well. I'm going to show you a trick very early in the game is um, if you need for instance more civilians or you just want civilians for something like you want to build a office tower or whatever which we'll do later on and you see you've got a lot of this but you need more of that what you can do is press this green button and you can go and choose do you want to change your money for materials or do you want to change materials for money so here I can do that see how much material how much money I can get for the material and I'll still have some material left okay and there I've got some more materials coming through. Now we want to keep on upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. And later on, now you can see that we've got a we've got businesses here that okay, we still need some uh this one gives you 220 every 15 minutes, that one gives you uh 160 every eight minutes. So this one is still what you have to do, or what I do is um I look at what is the return for time for something that you built. Now this one gives you 220 every 15 minutes, this one gives you 660 every 8 minutes. But if you multiply this by 2, which is almost 15, it's more than 15, you will get 360 and that one only gives you 220. So let's stick, well, let's build a car dealership. Okay, and you can see that we can do that. So let's go build a car dealership, okay? And uh, you'll see later on that you might want to, might have to hire staff for certain businesses, and that's where you're gonna get stuck, and you probably have to <coughs> invite some friends, etc. I've got a small business here and a small thing going on. So what I'm going to do right now, because I know, okay, let's, I'm going to go and source neighbors when we need it, okay? But for now, we're going to build that. So let's put another one of those cobblestones there. Um, okay, we'll put it here. And immediately we'll see that our population rises. But um, when we look at the businesses, we'll see the return of the Scott dealership is still better than the Mexican restaurant. Okay, so what we want to might do might want to do is this one gives you 200 every 12 minutes which is still not better than that. Okay, so we're not going to build that. This one is a convenience store, gives you 600 every two hours. Okay, which is not a lot. The problem is, for instance, 
you have a car dealership, it gives you 160 simulants every eight minutes. You have to go and cash in, cash out that 160 every eight minutes, which means a lot. So later on, you want to go and mature your business so that you only have to cash in, say, every two hours, because later on you'll see your energy will mature or will be filled up every two hours. So let's look at what's going to give us the most. This one gives you 600 every two hours. That gives you 240 every 18 minutes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that's good. 240. Um, this one gives us 360 every 8 minutes. But we have to go and do it every... So we're looking for something that gives us a lot every 2 hours. Okay. Um, and here we're getting to the big ones, uh, 3,200, um, 330 every 40 minutes. That's almost an hour, so it's probably okay. But it's still not as much as the car dealership. So what they're doing is they're forcing you to come back. So if you want to play that kind of game, I prefer to come back every two hours. So the goal is to have... Right now, at this point in the game, you can see I've got a lot of energy. So, and what's happening is our biggest return right now is uh, car dealerships. So, let's build a lot of car dealerships. We've got two already, right? Um, eight minutes. Okay, so let's build a whole lot of car dealerships. Okay. And we don't need any staff for that, so that's great. And what this does, it gives you money, so later on you can build more. Okay, um, let's go get more car dealerships. Okay, we haven't got any money. Okay, now. You might think of, listen, I have some diamonds. What is the best to spend money diamonds on? Well, you could try and advance your game, okay, and spend your 26 diamonds on, for instance, to unlock a cinema, okay, but you still need whatever that cinema is going to cost. And I think it's almost, I think it's almost 20,000 simillions. So it's going to be difficult to get that even if you unlock it. Don't waste your diamonds because your diamonds are really precious in this game. Um, it can do a lot for you. All right, and you know what? When we're talking about big attractions, that's an attraction. It gives you a big area. And these are attractions. It gives you a big area of influence. This is going to be your biggest. This is a big attraction. It, takes about that size of influence and it's going to give you about 300 and something rise in population. So if you can build this and place it here in the middle, this whole thing you're going to jump to say 20,000 uh, population immediately. So let's look at can we get this thing done quickly. I would say spending 25 on that is a good idea and that's what I'm going to do. So they're going to start building that and um, if I want to build that and build my population I'm going to definitely need uh, some neighbors. So this is what we do. We go to a new tab and we say um, some city City social neighbors. Okay. And there is a an admin group. I used all these in my pre in my other account. So what you want to do um, is go and talk to the people here. 
okay and go right here okay Right here, mm, daily Okay, I'm having trouble with the speed again. So what I'm going to do is let's see mm, new daily player. Please add me. I have multiple accounts. And lots of experience. Okay, so we're going to ask people, tell them the truth. I'm a daily player. Um, I have a lot of experience. So we're going to say, please add me. And trust me, people are going to add you. And you're going to see quickly how um, people are going to get in touch with you. You'll see this uh, add me button. It's a good what I'm doing here is I'll use a strategy of only building accounts or having a dedicated Facebook account just for this game. And it's a good strategy to have because it's not going to mess up with everything else that you have. Okay, and uh, let's close this. Let's go to um, another page, Add Neighbors. Let's see if it's going to work here. Okay, um, new daily player, multiple accounts and experience, please add me. Okay, uh, we're going to share that and we're going to see how that's going to do in the next couple of days. Okay, um, here's another one, add neighbors. And I think those are the three that we're going to look at for now. Hmm. Okay, that was not what we were looking for. Okay. Um, let's go to this one here. Oh, that'll be our last sort of idea. Let's try again. Daily player with mul multiple accounts and experience. Please add me. Okay, and this, go and do this because this is a very important part of this game is you need neighbors to um, to help you staff your businesses and your buildings and etc. And as you can see, this one is a couple of minutes away. Let's go full screen. This one is a minute away. So uh, we can almost cash all those in. Okay, and then I'm going to end the video here. You can see we still have a lot of energy. And we're going to go to um, this part here. You see, oh, nice. I can finish this if I get some alien artifacts. I'm not exactly sure how to get to where to get that. So, um, what does it say? Near. Get these from wreckage sites, and we don't have any wreckage sites within our reach. Um, okay, so my time's up for this video. Um, please remember to subscribe for all the new videos, and please also leave a comment below and tell me about your experience. Where are you now? How many population? Are you a new player? Is this valuable for you? Etc. Etc. Thank you for.